You'll have a series of these injections, and then the doctor will harvest some eggs. The more eggs we can harvest, the better chance you'll have of producing a fertilized egg to implant into the surrogate. Have you chosen a surrogate mother yet? No, actually, we, we just started the whole process. Well, I'm very happy for you. I wish you great luck. Thank you. <laughs> well, thanks for coming. My pleasure. Good night. Good night. <sighs> well, we're on our way. I'm so excited. I, I just, I really want to give Ethan a child. But you'll already have a child when you adopt little Ethan. I know. I mean, a child that comes from both of us. It's, it's very important to me. I understand that. I do. But it is also important that you adopt Teresa's son. We have to make her pay for all the pain she's caused you. Let's hope nothing prevents us from doing that. What? Ethan has agreed to adopt little Ethan because he doesn't want Julian and me to get custody. So it is smooth sailing from now on. I mean, what on earth could possibly happen to prevent you from becoming the parents of Teresa's son? When you better stop worrying. You're going to get wrinkles. <sighs> Little Ethan is asleep. I knew you'd be the most wonderful father in the whole world. Little <sighs> Ethan is very lucky to have you as his dad. Thank you. Oh, speaking of that, Rebecca, I know that you told Teresa that Gwen and I were adopting Little Ethan, but I don't want you to tell anybody else, OK? Gwen and I would like to be able to tell people. I only told Teresa because I wanted to break it to her gently. I didn't want her to, you know, hear it through the prison gossip. Gently? Rebecca, you and I both damn well know that you wanted to gloat and you wanted her to suffer. Okay, all right, what if I did? Look, I'm the one who suffered. I mean, she tried to choke me. Look, I have bruises. Just don't tell anybody else, okay? No one. And you better not say anything to little Ethan either. Fine. My lips are sealed. But I do know that that little tyke is going to be thrilled when he finds out that he's going to have a real daddy in his life. See, I thought you were so anxious to have little Ethan for yourself. Well, I was anxious to get him away from a neglectful mother. But I do think that you and Gwen would be better parents to him. I mean, I mean, Julian is not exactly a doting father, as you know. But the boy is Julian's flesh and blood. What is he going to think about giving his son to us? Don't worry about Pookie. I'll take care of him. Look, the main thing is that little Ethan is happy. Oh, and I can tell you, I am so happy for both of you. Hmm. I mean, all you have to do now is find the perfect surrogate and then implant your fertilized egg, and in no time at all, you're going to give little Ethan a brother or sister. This is so exciting, isn't it, sweetheart? I am excited. I am. Do you have any idea what you are doing to my Teresa? Do you realize that her heart is broken? Please, just let me explain. I can explain. Ethan, there is nothing you can say that will excuse your behavior Come with on, her. No, no, leave no, you please here. don't. Oh, oh. Lord, did you slap him? How dare you? Rebecca, leave her alone, all right? Leave her alone. I want this ill-mannered servant out of my house. Now, you get out of here before I call the police. Shut up. You can't threaten me. I no longer work for you, you evil, vengeful slut. You've got your hooks into Julian, and you think you are the queen of harmony? You are not a queen. You are nothing but a despicable tramp trying to move herself up in the world. Oh, and you are nothing but a lying immigrant who just came here to breed more lying immigrants. You know, you ought to be put on some boat and shipped out of this country. Shut up about my family. I am only here because of what you are doing to my Teresa. You are stealing her little boy away from her. Have you no mercy, no heart? Oh, no, your slutty little daughter is getting exactly what she deserves. No, she killed my granddaughter, and she made it so my daughter can never have any more children. No, execution is too good for her. Teresa is not malicious. She never meant to hurt Gwen or the baby. Yeah, well, she did hurt them, didn't she? The lying little tramp. Please, come on. You two, that's enough, okay? No, Ethan. No, that is not enough. Because you, of all people, know that Teresa is not a bad mother. You all know it. And I cannot believe that you are going along with this, this witch of a woman, this cheap whore who gives all womankind a bad name. Oh, oh get it. Get it. Me. Get off of me! Rebecca! Let go! Rebecca!
Don't be alarmed. I'm gonna kill you! know why you are defending that woman. I mean, she slapped you. I was only trying to help you. I don't need that kind of help, Rebecca. Thank you. We just need to calm down. We need to be a little civil here, all right? Civil? That woman doesn't know the meaning of civil. Uh, Ethan, I want you to throw this woman out of the house now. No, Rebecca. Pilar will be welcome in this house as long as I am here. Fine. I don't have to sit around and take this kind of slander. Come on, Gwen. We have work to do. We're going to find a surrogate. We have to take interviews. Uh. very much. Oh, God. Why can't I be with my son? Darn, hi. What's wrong? I heard you call out. Did you have a bad dream? Yeah, so scary. Oh. I want my mommy. Well, you know, she can't be here uh, right now. Would you like it if I was your mommy for right now? That's right, Gwenny. Make this little boy your own. Would you like me to stay here with you for a little while? Yeah. All righty. Let's lay back. I promise you that I will always be here for you whenever you need me, sweetheart. When you get away from my child, do you hear me, Gwen? I'm going to get you for this, you and Rebecca will pay. <laughs> <laughs> 